Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer I traded with Mrs. Real in 140. Um, it's the Sierra Nevada Stout. There you go. Check Mrs. Real in 140 out on Twitter. Quite entertaining. Here's a bottle cap. Now I know, I know you're thinking, wow, like you know, the sun's shining. Um, should be drinking a pale ale. Well, I've kind of just enjoyed a pale ale. I'm moving like this, we're going into early evening today. I still like a stout. It's still spring, it's still March 2012. So I still like a stout more or less any time of the year. In the winter I'll drink them in the day, in the evening, whatever. In the summer I like to drink a stout late evening as the sun's going down there. So let's get this beer open into a glass and see what we get. No in Serenia. <laughs> Knowing Sierra Nevada, this stout will have a good hop presence. So, it's pitch black. Little bits of Carbonation rises from the bottom of the glass. It's quite a big three-finger head. The colour is off-white, bordering a light cream colour. Let's get the nose. Let's see if there are some lovely juicy hops in this stout. Oh, and I get, I do get fruits, but I'm, I get more of a first hit. Of the nose was chocolate, then coffee, then a little bit of the dark fruit you that classic dark fruit smell you get. Plus, yeah, it does smell slightly hoppy, so let's get in. Cheers. Wow. And the bitterness is just building and building and building and then it just starts to die away. That sensation, that taste I got there was to begin with chocolate and coffee. That stayed was an underlying taste that carried on for the whole sensation. But in between that, it was like a, a, a bounce of hops in the middle and that also stayed to the to the end of the the finish of the beer that that was there in abundance so there was a kind of a, a chocolate coffee beginning and then there was this huge battle going on in the middle with the chocolate the strong the strong flavors they, they're battling each other out the chocolate, the coffee was battling the strong flavours of the hops and they're two completely different flavours but they combine to go so well. They do really go so well in a beer like this. Slightly chilled too, not overly chilled. I want to get all of the flavours. Also, A certain smokiness. There's also a certain smokiness in this beer, which is quite pleasant. Now, this is for me. I've been reviewing a few stouts over the winter, and this I like this American style stout. I really do. And it's the hops. 
it's the hops that's used. It's a different kind of sway with the stout. It's a, it's a different mentality almost. I've been enjoying the British stouts. I really have. But something then comes along which makes you say, hold on a minute, you've been drinking this type of stout after this type of stout after this type of stout. And we're going to change your whole perception on what a stout might taste like. And I think that's good. I think that's good. I like the fact that things have changed up. You, if you're trying beers from all over the world, you're not really getting the same taste over and over again. You're getting different be beers, different styles, different tastes. And that's the joy of craft beer, it really is. Let's get my nose in here again then. Chocolate, coffee. Hops. It's a lovely beer. Okay, Sierra Nevada, original stout, is brewed with generous amounts of deep roasted malts, providing a bold roasted coffee and dark chocolate flavour with a hint of sweetness. This full-bodied American version of the traditional black ale is perfectly balanced this, with big malt flavours and earthy whole cone hops. It certainly is. Now, talking about Sierra Nevada, just quickly, um, if you've not tried their celebration ale, Go out and try it, it's wonderful. Try this. Uh, their original pale ale is fantastic and so is the Torpedo. I am yet to drink a beer from Sierra Nevada which I have not liked. This is another very good beer. I'm just looking for a website to give you. Um, I imagine it's sierranevadabrewing.com but unfortunately it's, it's not on here. Okay, so let's give it a rating. Pardon me. It's just so calming. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's really put me in this really calming kind of mood is absolutely perfect there's no reason not to enjoy a stout in the sunshine it really isn't i mean it's early it's, it's early evening still lovely and warm this stout is doing a job it's refreshing me i really like it eight out of ten eight out of ten thanks for watching another edition of the real ale guide put your comments in the comments box subscribe if you like and cheers